Hey ladies and gentlemen, Steven here from Rattle Essence and welcome back to another video. Thank you all so much for tuning in. And in today's episode, we're going to be taking a closer look at one of the newest releases by the company Parfum Vintage. And this one is called Emperor Napoleon. So make sure to stay tuned. So for those of you who don't know, the company Parfum Vintage does make their own iterations of more popular niche and designer fragrances. Sometimes they might make their own version of a discontinued designer fragrance. Sometimes they might make their iteration of a certain Aventus batch. And I really think that this company has a knack for doing so. So they might make one of the batches that's a little bit more smoky. They might recreate one of the batches that's a little bit more fruity, or perhaps even one of the batches that's a little bit more vanilla heavy. And so you will see a lot of threads and forums online where people are discussing what each uh, parfum vintage fragrance is supposed to be a recreation of which batch so on and so forth now in the case of this one i actually almost perceive this to be somewhat of a hybrid that's because i pick up on a little bit of like an aventus vibe in this one but i'm also picking up on a little bit of that aventus cologne dna where it kind of brings it in brighter fresher more citrusy territory and there's a creamy undertone so with that case i actually find this to be one of the more unique parfum vintage fragrances that i've gotten my nose on i'm really excited to tell you what i get in terms of the smell let's start things off with the presentation so on the front of the bottle here you just have the pineapple vintage logo here on the front you also have Emperor Napoleon written below that, and this is Eau de Parfum Strength. The ingredients for this are located on the bottom of the box, and they're also located on the side of the box. On the back of the box, you have this graphic that I think comes standard with all of their fragrances. And then on the top of the box, you have the Parfum Vintage Crest. The bottle for this fragrance just has the Pineapple Vintage sticker here on the front with a picture of a pineapple. My cap for this fragrance does not click into place, so don't pick it up from the cap. And the distribution on the atomizer is very wide. Let's continue with the smell. Now, as soon as this fragrance opens up, you will inevitably get that pineapple note that is found in pretty much all of their fragrances or the pineapple vintage line, I should say. But you also get this unquestionable and undeniable fresh undercurrent. And the reason I say this is because there is something about this fragrance that reminds me of a Ventus cologne. And I say that because I think that there's a characteristic smell with Aventus Cologne, and it's a, it's a smell that isn't parallel to the original Aventus. And so in the case of this one, yes, I do get that pineapple freshness, and there's something that kind of brings it into the original Aventus territory. And even when I looked at the note breakdown, it actually contains birch, which is an ingredient that is not contained in Aventus Cologne. But I know my nose can't be playing tricks on me. There is something rather fresh about this one. So if I were to take a guess, I would say that this is their take on the original Aventus and perhaps an Aventus that is not overly vanillic or overly smoky and it's layered with like an Aventus cologne, which I think is rather genius in a way because I know a lot of people who wear Aventus cologne are a bit disgruntled over the fact that it doesn't smell close enough to the original Aventus and I know all along it was intended to be a unisex release, but I also know that there's a faction of people out there that prefer the original Aventus and they don't want something that in their opinion, smells watered down or adulterated or <laughs> neutered. But in the case of this fragrance, I feel like it brings the best of both worlds. It takes the original Aventus DNA, which I think is a lovable DNA, and it's one that's done really well for the company, but it also fuses it with this lighter, fresher balance from Aventus Cologne. I personally really enjoy wearing this one, and I also really enjoy smelling this one. And I think that in many people's opinions, this is what Aventus Cologne was supposed to be. Now, don't get me wrong, I like Aventus Cologne, and I can see myself purchasing a bottle of it down the line, obviously, when I can find it at a really good price, and it's already available for really good prices. But I think that for a lot of people, they were expecting it to lean a little bit more in the direction of Creed Aventus, and for something to not be entirely unisex, but for something to lean a little bit more masculine, as opposed to having it be a balance of masculine and feminine. Let's go ahead and finish things off with my overall assessment. Now, first up, in terms of the uniqueness and the overall smell, I don't think this company ever brags about its uniqueness, and I do think that their fragrances are unquestionably similar to other more popular niche and designer fragrances, albeit some of them being discontinued. However, in the case of this fragrance, I actually find this balance of uh, the original Creed Aventus and also Aventus Cologne, and again, 
I don't think it's just my nose playing tricks on me. I do get a balance of the both and there's this unquestionable freshness in here. And I really like the combination of the fresh and the fruity. And I think that that's what ultimately defines the olfactory character of this fragrance. The overall smell is incredibly pleasant. You guys know how well Aventus does in terms of garnering compliments. And this one is no exception. So if you are in the market for positive attention, overwhelmingly positive attention and an overabundance of compliments, I'm pretty confident that you can achieve that with this fragrance. But again, to each their own. Some people are not in it for the compliments. They're in it for other motivators, but keep that in mind. In terms of the longevity on this one, I got about seven to eight hours, which is above my expectations. And in terms of the projection, because it's on the fresher side, it was very diffusive for the first two and a half to three hours. It didn't become a skin scent up until about the five and a half to six hour mark. So I would say the performance on this one is certainly above average. It's very good. In terms of the versatility on this one, I find Creed Aventus the original to be one of the most versatile fragrances out there and this one just kind of makes it fresher opens it up to more social scenarios i guess you could say that and makes you feel a bit more confident wearing it in the hotter weather all the while allowing it to do really well in the colder weather too and i would go as far as saying this is one where you can apply it a bit more liberally without the fear of choking somebody out or offending those around you presentation on this one is also rather nice my final verdict on this one is if you're a fan of the creed aventus dna you want something that kind of takes a mix of creed aventus but also perhaps as far as my nose can detect, borrows elements from Aventus Cologne and really spins a fresh take on Creed Aventus, definitely check out Emperor Napoleon. I have a feeling that this is going to be what you're looking for. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for tuning in. That was my review of Emperor Napoleon by Parfum Vintage. If you own or have tried this fragrance or any of the other fragrances within this collection, I would love to know what you think. Go ahead and leave a comment down below. Also, please don't forget to subscribe for future videos and remember to enable notifications by clicking on the bell. This way, whenever I do upload future fragrance related content, it will get delivered straight to your feed. You never need to worry about missing any of my future uploads. Thanks again for watching. I love you all. We'll see you next time. Bye.